Hello, everybody, and welcome to this video where today I'm going to review a review. Yes, yeah, it's the Alderbaran review. Aldebaran review. Number four, for only 25 cents. And there's their little logo there. That's cool. And it is from No Directions Press. <laughs> That's so cool. Um, the, it's weird, because, like, the cover photo, I think it's supposed to be like this. Um, it's kind of a strange cover, but I want to give this to you in specs, okay? So if we look here, this is a little bit bigger, a little taller, a little wider, cover-wise, okay? But this is what's awesome about it. So the pages inside, I think, are the same size as everything else in this book. Okay? So it's just the actual card stock is a bit bigger. And you got all of this really cool artwork and just weird stuff. Like this down here says Lehman. Well, it's a shame. Shilling. What's a shame? Lehman. The state of things. Shilling. Yes. The state of things. Such a shame. Just kind of crazy. So, you might ask yourself, what is this little magazine here? Well, if you look right here, it was printed in May 1969. 500 copies. They, they received a $500 grant from the Coordinating Council of Literary Magazines. <sighs> and this is from um, Berkeley, California. The editor is John Oliver, Oliver Simon. The cover photograph is by Martin Schweitzer. The drawing is by Lorelei. And now we have poems by Pete Winslow, Brown Miller, Douglas Blazik, Ronald B. Cordage, Lynn Lifshin, Gerald Lachlan, Emil Glenn, John Thompson, and Alta. Now, the two strongest things in here are the Gerald Lachlan poem. He actually has two in here, but one of them is really strong. And then Alta, um, which um, I'll, I'll read to you in a bit. But, so we got some drawings, some... Red pages with black ink. And we got some yellow pages with red ink. Then I think someone just drew in this. I don't think that's printed. I think that's drawn on there. Which is kind of funny. Alright, so um, I'm going to read to you a little bit here. Okay, um, this is the Gerald Lachlan poem. He waited till she went to bed and snuck a cigarette. When he was sure she was asleep, he took the bourbon from beneath the sink he took two pieces of calorie-enriched bread 
and fashioned a mayonnaise mustard ketchup sandwich. He took her latest fashion magazines and beat off to the brazier ads before collapsing into dismal sleep he left a note my love we've been together 30 years now but if you cannot respect me i must soon depart you <laughs> what the hell that's funny as shit um so that was the Gerald Laughlin poem. <clears throat> and this is the Alta poem. I crossed campus, sun warm on my hair. Words on the sign you wore touched a hungry place inside me. I stopped tearing leaves when I realized you touched my hand. Yes. Three years later, we lie side by side. Your child wiggling inside me. Miracles. All the time, miracles. So that's just a nice one. But here's the thing with this. Besides the cover, this is only... Um, two, it's just three pieces of paper. We have a, is that the same yellow? Yeah. Two pieces of yellow, one piece of red, and then a red cardstock cover. That's it. And these were going for 25 cents. So the, the point of this is, this is a legit little magazine that has big names in it. I mean, this was 1969. I don't know how big some of these names were at the time. But big enough to be in here. Okay. This thing got a grant. From a literary magazine council. To exist. Okay. And there's only. What? Like. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. There's nine poems in here. Okay. Okay. There's nine poems in the newest issue of the Blood Rag. But this, it's longer form stuff, and it is very nice for what this is. You all could do something like this if you wanted to. Okay? So this is just such an awesome little piece of history, and I am so fucking glad I got it. So I'm going to be looking here and there for more um, more little magazines from the Mimeo Revolution and all that shit. Because this is what, like over 50 years old now? It's got to be, right? Yeah, whatever. I don't know math. Math's hard. So anyway, it's just really cool. Um, I love it. I'm super stoked. And if you guys have any little magazines or anything like that, um, and you'd like to share about them, tell me what you got. Send me some pictures. I hate Mattwall, gmail.com. I'd love to hear what you guys have. This is such an amazing like piece of like American literary history. And I feel like a lot of that period in those little magazines is just going to vanish if we don't do something. And I know there's tons of people out there who have been collecting these things since the 60s and have like huge like drawers or boxes full of these things. So if you're one of those people, let me know. I, I just want to pick your brain about them, you know. Um, I was really hoping that that book I got, uh, is that, yeah, here it is, um, Green Isle in the Sea would be, like, not so informal a history, but a more formal history of the alternative press, and it's, from what I've read so far, it's people who put out magazines back in the day 
talking about how it used to be better and now things suck and here's why. And that's not what I was wanting to pick that up for. Like, I wanted facts. I wanted to know, like, print runs, page counts, um, how much it was costing um, to put the things together, what their distribution was like. I know most of them was just mail order, but um, some of them weren't, you know? Um, I don't know. I just wanted more of an actual factual history of that stuff um and honestly if i can't find that information maybe that's a book i need to write like and research it and put it out myself you know and fuck i'll do it i am very moved by the whole thing so i definitely want the information and then just like with everything else like if if you can't find the book you're looking for, write it yourself, you know? So, whatever. Type hard, everybody. Your mom needs you. IGG.me slash at slash your mom. Okay? So, go hit that up, and I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.